This is Steve-O's struggle with getting old. I thought this was interesting. I like Steve-O. I'm f***ing old, and I'm embarrassed to admit how many times I've decided not to post pictures on my social media because of the gray hair and the wrinkles. Most recently, I took a really cute selfie of me and Lux kissing with our masks on, and when I saw the wrinkles around my eyes, I was like, I can't do it. But why should I be embarrassed of getting old? Number one, that's what happens. Number two, the fact that I'm even still alive is a miracle. So, I'm posting that photo. It did make me think about that because the concept of getting older, I have noticed that I look in the mirror and I'm like, damn, that is not what I remember looking like. I'll watch an old video and that really hits me because I'm like, I'm not that person anymore. Just physically and just like where I was even. I feel that exact pain where I've looked at pictures of myself and I'm looking at bags and I'm looking at all this bullshit. It's a hard pill to swallow. That's why people get the face injections and get to all the different modifications they can get and Botox because nobody wants to age. That's what they say, like old billionaires always like they could trade billion dollars or being 20 years old again, they would say 20 years old. Steve looks great. I'm gonna say that. He does look like, really good. For, if you fight early 50s, he looks great. But yeah, I bet you even at 50, even if you're in perfect shape, you're probably still like, dang. Like the youthful look, even like end of 20s, end of 30s. And then you're like, it's all, you gotta miss it. It's gotta hurt a little bit. And then same way you're saying, you're looking at photos like, damn, I don't have that anymore. I don't look like that. Or I don't look physically like I was, or wasn't even the, that same person. Imagine what you're thinking at his age. You're looking at all of your photos now from the zero to 10, 10 to 20, 20 to 30, 30 to 40. I almost could almost, overstress you even more to the point where you have to make a short form video and let us know. But like we're gonna look at 26, 27, 28, 29 and be like, well, we were some young cats. And then we'll be 45. Time just flies and you don't realize even because you see yourself every day. Mm -hmm. and you don't notice the small changes really until like you see a picture or a video or something. And it's like, wow. So I found myself taking more pictures like the past year till now because even I'll look at photos from last June and I'm like, oh my God, I, I feel like I look so much younger already. Like I feel mm -hmm. like I'm even aging faster or I can just see the way I'm looking and um, I think that even goes if you're gonna work out or something like you should take pictures early progress before you even get to the end because you might get super in shape and I didn't realize like how well you've been doing too so when you're in high school and when we were in college I never had a moment of I'm getting older you just yeah, look you the same about it but you also knew because you saw what older people were and you're like well that's not me they're clearly old I'm clearly not and then I hit 24 and now you look at them they're clearly young I'm clearly not I feel it even more when I see the people in freshmen sophomore more junior college high school and they look like babies but then I've also met like 29 30 year olds where I've said my age and they're like you're a baby and I'm like oh my god it's because we're new to being adults really like the most of our life we've always had that mentality of like we're never gonna be that old like we're young we're kids whatever but now that we're actually here we have to adapt in certain ways there's that day where you can't necessarily walk into zoomies anymore hey they got good stuff and they, they do they do. <laughs> yeah just gotta build them there <laughs> Bro, I just got a bow in there. <laughs> I used to go into Zoomies and just get the stickers. You know, they used to have mm -hmm. the custom like mm -hmm. Zoomies stickers. That was a long time ago. No, I remember that used to be my go-to. It was like a dream if I could go into Zoomies and get something. I always think back to, man, if the 14-year-old me got to walk into the Zoomies, I would want to buy everything. Nowadays, I'm thinking, Rhino, you can't wear that, brother. Not to say I can wear whatever I want, yeah. but you just know, damn, time's ticking. I just thought about this even in the, in the car. I'm 26. That's effectively 30. You're at 30 and then it's like, you only 10 years away from 40. 40 years old. Yeah, if you told that to someone in high school, they'd think like, oh, you're old. Like, we're old. Yes. We have little, little Dirk turned 31 and all the comments are the teenagers just like, bro pushing 30, bro pushing 40. And like, so, he just turned 30. Or why bro got ops at 30, man? You old as fuck. And it's like, damn. Until you become 30, like the way we're uh, late 20s, you start to think, oh, you've been saying late 20s kind of gives me. The late part, I'm like, the late, yeah, mid late. <laughs> we're early late, technically. Yeah. Uh -huh. Early late. Yeah. Rob's 20, 29. Yeah. Rob's pushing okay, it. I'm mid late. I'm mid late. <laughs> yeah, I thought like a college senior was super old at one point and I'm long past that you start to realize once you hit 30 it's truly not old but you only know that when you're there I've also realized like the older you get you're able to recognize people's ages that are like mm -hmm. I guess younger than you like when I was younger I didn't really know other people I just knew them as older people like I didn't have that concept of just ages and you start to view people differently as you get older like instead of oh that's an old person or that's an adult you start to view them as that's just another person yeah and we're equals yeah i can always tell who's younger like you just know they're way younger but then obviously as you go older, i would much rather will talk to an older person i won't talk to them like in my head oh you're old you're old it's like they're older than me but i could get something out of this 
and it comes quicker than you think. And then it's always weird knowing that like whatever. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they do be happening though. Each one of us have our entire like childhood, high school, college years written in like we just have these memories to go back on and they're already written and there's, there's no change in them. So when you always think like, oh, I should have done this, is this, but it's just forever the way it is. And I'm like, cause yeah, I always get older and I'm like, dang, had I should have done this, this, this. Those regrets from early on are kicking in. So then I think about, oh yeah, now you want to do everything you can right now because now I don't want to be even older. Like, oh, I had more time then as well. So yeah, not having regrets as well, just doing things that you wouldn't have done. And I think, yeah, just to anybody watching, it's just, you gotta be grateful for being alive in general. But if you're young, that is the best gift ever. I think there was an interesting question where if I could give either of y'all, let's say $10 billion right now, you would gladly take it. But if I said, I'll give you 10 billion, but you have one year to live, you're not taking the 10 billion, which proves that your time is more valuable than any amount of money ever. So it's like, why are you not waking up every day? Like, damn it, I'm excited to be here. So that's why I think about that all the time. Like, man, I'm just grateful to be here. Yeah, but if you're in a position that you don't like and you hate it the way it is, just know that, oh, well, within five, six years, if you want to change it right now, you can work towards that instead of just being completely stuck and miserable in something you don't want to do. There's so many terrible and great things about being alive. It's just a fun game that you get, that we get to play. The chances of us even existing and aging is one of the terrible things that happened. She could well, also been an animal that only lived to 20, 30, and I'm already for beyond that. We're dogs, long. like they're not living as long as we are, and we've already lived, you know. I don't mind aging, you know. I want to age. I want to age as much as I can. Yeah, because it's a privilege to age. Exactly. And it's cool thinking, hmm, what, are the, what will the 40-year-old version of you be? What a beautiful thing. It's because I've noticed, like, through life, there is stages. Like, you don't realize them as you're in them, but mm. as you pass them, you know. So it's like, you could almost look forward to the later stages in life because you know it's going to be something different than it is now. I just saw a thing that said 36 is people's favorite age. When they look back on their life, they say, they wish they could be 36 again. And I'm not even there yet. We still going, baby. Live life to the fullest. Blood we're old, we know, sir. we're old, we know. <laughs> Damn, for else. Can't Damn. get too close to the camera. No, anymore. real shit. It's difficult to like sit with that, but then once you- Lower the resolution. This viral Balin Levine clip. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you, too. Hey, follow me on ground. My uh, phone is dead. What is it? It's Follow me. All right, I'm gonna check it out. All that authentic shit, and now when I say follow me, you don't wanna follow me. That's how do I, how do I, what is it? Okay, that's crazy. You see the resemblance? Yeah, I oh, see it. This is your you book. Don't, you don't even want to really follow me. Listen, hold on. Everything needed all in that about all the I'm trying to get a piece of content out of it too. I'm throwing on my Instagram. You're not showing me no love. It's Show funny because I'm, I'm on his Instagram looking at it, but now that you're being no, 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 I'm, no, not, no, I'm no. not. Nah, you're good, bro. You're trying to come at me and do me like that. When I feel him, more he's on me. I can't even hear you. I know, but yeah. I'm just saying, you gotta talk right here. This guy. Yeah. It's, it's crazy because like, like, I'm actually, actually looking, looking at his Instagram. Instagram. Most, Most people would not even fucking, fucking pull it up, dude. He didn't even follow me. <laughs> Like, I got my top comment there. I got a top comment on the post. Oh, okay. There oh, we go. shit. I got a top comment. I said, grown ass man begging for a follow back. Face bomb. You can't save these people. Obviously, he's being a head ass by follow me, bro. But if you notice, Balin doesn't even say no or anything. He's like, hey, man, follow him. Pull up my Instagram. And then immediately the black guy's like, see, you're not even going to follow me back, whatever. Balin was like, oh, yeah. He said, what is it? I'll pull it up. What is it? And he just jumped to, you're not even going to follow me. But you can't compare the, just Balin was just on a panel talking about be authentic, be yourself, and then that how do you compare that to follow you need to follow me like Balin was still dropping some gems saying be authentic be yourself but well, if i want you to follow me that has nothing to do with Balin not being not authentic is it unauthentic if i go up to leonardo DiCaprio and be like hey bro could you just follow me on the gram i love all your movies bro i love all of them follow me it's like what you can be authentic and say i ain't gonna do that i don't know you so i'm not gonna follow you that's 100 percent authentic. that's pretty authentic well who even acts like that like who comes at people like that like a grown-ass man begging for clout it's just a clout Demon, yeah. Cloud demon. This is literally level 10 cloud demon. Yeah. Now I know y'all have encountered people that are similar to this. We all have it. Asking for a follow back. Like I've never been pressed on like somebody following me back on something. Like Really? Yeah. I've never like, I've never like in public asked like, hey, can you follow me back? I'm saying have people come up to you begging for a follow back. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I just cut you off though, but yeah, I wanted oh. to get that thought off. So how do you deal with it when someone's, hey man, can you, can you follow me back? Yeah, I don't really follow people. I just follow people I know. And then, I just say, I don't know you. I don't think 
think I'm anyone special, but assuming that this person likes me and they're talking to me right now, we're just having a conversation. You're actually speaking to the real me, but that doesn't mean as much as the digital clout tokens mm -hmm. that you can get from, look, Balin Levine follows me. That's people's favorite thing. It, it's cooler to say he follows me than I had a conversation with him. There's people I became friends with before I even like exchanged Instagram because I was just, I wasn't even worried about that at the time. Yeah, there's people I'm friends with now that I don't even follow. Like it just never came up in conversation. Like it's mm -hmm. not that big of a deal, I guess, to me, but I've even followed some of my old friends that don't post and I still talk to them. <laughs> I'm like, you don't even post anything. So there's no bad blood. Like, and I wonder why he thought the follow was gonna really do for him. Now he just has access to message Valen and that's why I'm like, why even ask? Like who even does that? Like well, why even do that to like, let's think he didn't want to get to know Valen. He wanted to say, follow me, follow me so we could leave. And then Valen's gonna now change my life and do stuff for me, for me, for me. That was your thought process? It's supposed to be a mutual thing. Like that's people's biggest mistake in networking or if they're not in the influencer space and they're trying to be somebody or get somewhere. They happen to see a fellow clouded up person in front of them. People always go, what can I get out of them? How can they do something for me? Follow me back. As opposed to, hey man, oh, I do this and that. See you around. I'll shoot you a DM and I'll send well, you something. Your panel was really good. I really, really resonated with all the stuff you talked about. And uh, by the way, on my Instagram, I promote this as I do this. I don't know what he does. I don't know if he's an artist there, if he's just a random motherfucker that has nothing on his profile and has no reason for being to follow him. But yeah, like, everybody just doesn't think about the other person in this side because it's, well, they already have everything probably. They yeah. have their clout, they have their money. So let me get a little bit of the something. Give me something, man. Which is why, yeah, that applies to athletes, actors, like, just because LeBron James is playing for the Lakers doesn't mean you can just get on the starting five. Doesn't work like that. I think Balin almost, this is a perfect reality check. One, to like spread a message like beyond this, like don't do this type of thing. And two, Balin gets the last laugh because that guy tried to get his last laugh in real life. And now Balin gets to walk away and everybody's going to clown him, dude, if they ever find his Instagram. Everybody's clowning dude in the comments and he has to read this. Everyone in the comments. Why is he talking into the camera like the audience would take his side? Crazy how people become so different with social media. Yeah, people get weird. Bro was already hating before you even got on the bro. Profile. Yep. There you go. And it's like, instead of doing the fast track to follow me back and give me this, maybe be somebody and be someone that Balin could really use in his life, then you might actually get a follow back. But it's just gimme, gimme, gimme. Yeah, everyone wants the quick, easy route when it's just never that. Well, he sealed his fate. And it's always the people with like no pictures that want to follow back the most. Follow me back. Let me see your page. It's a Naruto profile picture with no pictures and one highlight. Okay. Like, what am I following at that point?